The men's lacrosse team have begun their fall training to get ready for the spring season. After a summer away from the field, the team is not only ready to begin the season, but feel that this will be one of the team's best seasons since moving up to Division I. It's good. It's early. Uh, we're definitely optimistic. I, I say that this program gets better every single year, and uh, this year is definitely no different. So we're looking forward to seeing uh, which new guys kind of step up to the plate. We've added 15 freshmen to our roster this season, which is a huge chunk. So um, It's looking pretty promising. we got a lot of good freshmen coming in, a lot of good returners. Returning most of our starting lineup, so we're not losing a lot there. And it looks like we have really good depth, so it's something we struggled with in the past. It'll be nice to have a lot of depth this year. I mean, I'm really excited. We got a, we got a bunch of new freshmen in, and uh, they're really good players, so they're definitely going to contribute. There's uh, a lot of leaders that came in, so that's good. You don't want just uh, shy freshmen, so I'm excited for this year. The Flames are looking to continue to build off of last season's momentum that carried the team to finishing 10-5 and on the year and ranked number 17th in the nation. I think we definitely had some success last year and in previous years, but our expectations um, from last year to this year are even more than, than what we had for last season. And an SELC championship is something that we probably um, look past a little bit and put a little bit too much focus on nationals. And this season, we're gonna dial it back a bit and take care of business uh, here in our part of the country first. Um, and if we do that, nationals will take care of itself. I'm well, looking even back on when we are Division II and making that jump to Division I. We had um, a lot of potential coming in and we've just been continuing to build every single year. And I expect this year that we will be in the top five in the nation. Um, the expectations are raised every year by the coaches, by the captains. Um, a lot of the seniors this year have been with the program all four years, so definitely means a lot to us and to uh, pass it on to the next generations is pretty sweet. The Flames are also looking to claim their first SCLC conference title since moving up to Division I that have been owned by one of the Flames' rivals in the Virginia Tech Hokies. Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech and Florida State, I mean, there's, there's a handful of teams that I can name that uh, all are viable uh, teams to, to be able to win an SCLC championship. Uh, we made this, the finals two years ago and were knocked out uh, in the semifinals last year, so uh, we've made that game. Um, but it's not enough just to make the playoffs. It's not just enough to get in that 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 championship game. So for us, it's we got to kind of we got to get it over that hill. Um, and we got a great opportunity with Virginia Tech being in our region. Uh, we get to play them every regular season uh, before the playoffs even roll around, and we get them at home this year, um, where uh, we we've never lost to Virginia Tech at home. So we're going to try to keep that streak alive. Um, I mean, just the fact that we haven't won an SOC championship in the Division One yet, I mean, that's the one motivation. Um, and one thing that I think how we can get there um, is just like the little things in practice, keeping up with that. So when we do come to game time, we can focus more on the game ahead instead of working on our stick work or trying to work on ground balls during the game. We have so much potential. We've had so much potential every year. Um, the last couple of years didn't end the way we wanted to, so we want to use that for motivation. Our schedule uh, and everything that we've put in place in front of these guys is going to uh, help us build up to where we need to be ultimately to, uh, to win an SCLC championship. Liberty is known for having one of the best home atmospheres in the MCLA, as the Flames have remained undefeated at home for the past three seasons. I mean, just the fact that we have been undefe undefeated at home is pretty amazing. Um, and I think this year, too, just to hold that for our seniors who are graduating, um, I think that'd be really cool for them to be able to leave saying that they've never been defeated on their home turf. It's awesome to have all the fans come out. Um, we get a lot more fans than most club teams, even some uh, NCAA teams. So to be able to keep that streak going at home is awesome. Um, it just comes out of hard work and pride in your, uh, in your school. We'll, we'll try to keep that going. Hopefully we can. It's something that obviously has is, is been kind of neat to kind of keep track of and, and not losing at home for the last three seasons is definitely something that that we can kind of hang our hat on, but it's not something we completely focus on. It just, playing at home gives us a competitive advantage and playing in front of the fans, and we get great support here, and we're looking forward to that. We get to, to test our, uh, our home record streak against some pretty top competition this year, and uh, Michigan State and Virginia Tech, who's ranked number four in the country, and a handful of others. So um, we're looking forward to seeing if we can keep that streak alive, but at the end of the day, uh, we're just gonna use that home field to our advantage, and, and hopefully it'll be what uh, kinda pushes us and gives us the momentum we need heading into uh, the postseason. The Flames are preparing for their upcoming fall tournament that will feature three teams, and then open the season in late February on the road versus Boston College before the team's home opener versus George Washington.